Hey everyone, it's a video feature here today with another uh, camera topic. And the topic I want to cover today is about using a full focus system with the Sony standard lenses, because this is something I didn't know, which uh, did bite me pretty hard. So I think it's important to get the information out there so people can be better informed than I was. Now the video will look a little bit worse than usual because I'm filming on my phone, because I'm obviously filming my main camera. Uh, and because my phone has some issues, I can only film using the wide angle lens. So that's what we're doing today. Now, the topic of this video is not specific to the A7, uh, A7 II I have, or specific to the 50mm lens I have on it right now. It also uh, applies to the 28 or the uh, 28 to 70 or any uh, of the lenses by Sony that use this focus by wire system. It's also not particular to the Tilta I will be using for the follow focus system. Uh, again, this is purely a lens based issue. So let's talk about the issue quickly. Uh, as you can see, we have the uh, lens set up with the camera and uh, I can use my follow focus to change the focus of the lens. That's pretty good. Right, so let's get into the issue. Uh, if we calibrate our um, focus motor, which can be done in the menu, uh, manual calibrate. So here we go, calibrate. It tells us to focus to the minimum focus. So let's see if we can find the minimum focus here. And that's basically the point where the focus doesn't change anymore. So that's about here. And then we need to focus to infinity. So that's basically moving to wherever the focus stops on the other end. I would say that's about there. Cool. So now that we're set up, we should have minimum focus at one side and we should have max focus at the other side. So I'm going to mark this spot of focus. So the focus right now is pretty much uh, on the front of the keyboard. As you can see in the monitor, there's a little red line. So let's mark this spot. And what this does is it places a dot on display and every time I cross this dot, I will get a small vibration, and that means my focus is set back to this point. Now, here's the problem. If we throw the focus further away, right, and we move back to the dot, or straight back on the dot, you will see that the focus is not on the front of the keyboard, but it's now on the keys. And every time I do this, my focus will be slightly different. So now it's at the back of the keys. Now it's basically back. And if I move a little bit slower, it's again in a different spot. So what is going on here? Well, the thing with these lenses is that they use a uh, acceleration based uh, pulling speed. So the faster you move, the faster the focus changes. And the slower you move, the slower the focus changes. And this means that the focus points are not constant. So if I move really slowly, there we go. I have now reached the end of my follow focus. And as you can see, the background is still not in focus. Where if I move it all the way to the front and I move it all the way to the back quickly, I might be able to get a little bit further. It's really finicky. And again, every time I cross this little point, the focus will be in a slightly different place. And there we go. Now we can actually focus beyond our background where before we had run out of the focus. Uh, this is a very annoying issue with these lenses specifically. You can't change this behavior, if behavior in the camera or in the lens or anything so if you're going to use these types of lenses uh, combined with an electronic focusing system, it is just not going to work well. Uh, and that's something you need to be aware of. If you use a manual focus, uh, manual follow focus on the lens, it's less of an issue because you can just keep turning it as much as you want to. But with an electronic follow focus, this will bite you. Now, the only way around this issue is by just using a lens with hard stops. Uh, so for me, I'm using these uh, Nikkor lenses, which I had from my previous camera. These have hard stops and 
because of that, the focus points are at fixed places uh, and that solves the issue. But if you only have these uh, kind of basic style uh, Sony lenses, like again the 28 to 70 for instance, or the 50 or the 28 or the 35, uh, you will run into this issue where you just simply can't use the electronic follow focus uh, effectively. So be wary of that if you're interested in using full focus, make sure your lenses have hard stops. Uh, that will make your life a whole lot easier. That's it for this video, short one. If you have any questions, leave them down below and see you in the next one.